Where's my script? Who says this? George Chad. Chad. How many? You're, uh, you're not even, I'm not even showing up. I'm going to need you to calm down. I know, I know, I know. I'm not going to make it through today. Let's go. All right, y'all, let's go. This will be a short, like, five-minute episode. Uh, some interview style, more skit in this one, and there's a lot more movement. Action. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, more thank yous. Thank you. Thank your mom. Did it, that was good, you think? Yeah. yeah I mean, I okay, let's get you two. And we've got the two lines. Oh, that's perfect. You're a great chef. Yeah, nobody move. Who's going on the property tour? All right, let's go. Are you riding with me? No, your car's always so messy. No, it's not. <laughs> Last time I got in there, I got gum on my dress. That was one time. Yeah, one time too many. So, uh, Lale and I have this ongoing joke feud, and we're just always kind of going at each other and being kind of aggressive, I guess you could say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On the first take. Oh, what take? Ronnie, it's us, not you. Come on back. Ronnie. My character, it's getting out of control is what my character is doing. You know, I was really cautious over about COVID. And so we played into that with the first episode because, you know, I had success during COVID and I was able to do it while I worked from home and really kept my distance from people. So we felt like, well, why not just kind of portray that character where I'm basically being the character that I've been during pan the pandemic, which is this person who's been super cautious about everything, but at the same time as I have been successful working from home, I find it very uh, quiet and I'm able to really concentrate and do what I need to do throughout the day. So I'm one of those people that it doesn't matter where I work, but um, I just, I've found success working at home for sure. Get in the car. Allie Forrest. Like they're frantic, so you don't have time to open the doors. But what's even more ridiculous is you weren't the one over here making sure all this shit didn't fall. It just fell. My car's not that messy, and it's not over these things. Okay. You know, when we filmed the first one, it felt like it was a complete disaster, and we didn't know what it was going to look like, but it turned out really good. This one kind of at times it's had those moments where it's like, really, this is going to be funny. But we want to do like one a quarter and keep this thing going because we're getting really great response. So. We were in a team meeting and we were talking about creative video ideas. We were just kind of trying to create a list as a team. And it was actually Ronnie on the team who said, you know, I've been watching this Selling Sunset show and, you know, our office is practically on Sunset Boulevard in Lexington. So we said, why don't we, Shotgun! why don't we create a selling Sunset Boulevard, Lexington, South Carolina show? And then we were thinking, okay, well, that's very like, they're over the top all the time. And that's just not us, but we have a lot of pretty funny people on the team. So we thought, well, what do we, what if we combine it with the office style interview, um, sketch kind of comedy? So that's what we're trying to do now. We are not actors at all, but I think the first one turned out great. I think this one's gonna turn out pretty good as well. Shotgun! Shotgun! Ah! <laughs> that was cute. Is it good? Yeah, I'm pretty funny. You are pretty funny. <laughs> Shotgun! First thing we thought is we could all just, we'll go ahead and knock the tour out and then we can do the car stuff. A dead worm on, a, on concrete. I mean, you can't, once you realize you're drying up, you're done. Like, do you turn back or do you keep going forward? Well, he's obviously going forward. Don't stuff on me.
I see it. That was very good. Okay. Right. Remember, keep your eyes on your phone except for Clark and Forrest, you do you. Okay. <laughs> My character is usually the big, loud, uh, earthy lady. Uh, that's who I play in real life as well. So um, it just fits naturally. I am a little bit over exuberant, I guess you would say, and uh, uh, just, you know, out there kind of. So. Damn, this house is nice. Totally didn't think about the child safety law. <laughs> All of us getting together and just having a good old cackle at the things that we have to deal with as real estate agents. And uh, it pretty much is exactly what you see. You know, it's a lot of ridiculousness, but it's also really fun and great. And uh, we always have a good time, so. One more time. One more time, same thing. One more roll. Just like hitting the porch, getting higher. Yeah, don't hit the porch. All right. <laughs>really up with you and Allie. Do you guys not like each other or are you friends? We're not friends. We're best friends. Oh my character. I don't know we just we kind of played with it the first episode like what can we do because there's always drama in like reality shows or mockumentaries or something and so Allie and I kind of fed off each other because we I guess our banter is pretty good and funny, the stuff we would say normally to each other. So we just kind of created this little thing and we're just kind of keeping it going now. So we really are friends, but I also think we would say some of these things to each other <laughs> either way. Yeah, you can really tell a quality of the house by its attic. My character, I come in the house and I am just inspecting everything. I'm the only one not on my phone because I'm actually paying attention and actually doing the house tour. It's pretty close because I like to kind of go off on my own and and kind of look in the nooks and crannies of, of different places. I like to get out on my own a little bit. So I'd say it's, it's fairly accurate, I'd say. Michael Scott. Michael Scott. Ridiculous. One hundred percent. Yeah. Very exuberant. Really passionate. Goofy. Authentic. Where's the suit? I guess Michael, because he's the boss. <laughs> I don't know. He does yell a lot randomly. Actually, now now that I'm thinking about it, he might be close to. He's kind of like Meredith, because he was hit by a car a couple times. Ooh. Maybe a little bit of like Robert California. Maybe. Well, one, he's the boss. Two, he has a nice car. Three, he's hungry. I don't know who the characters are. All I know is I'm probably the grandma character, whoever plays the grandma. <laughs>